Greetings, YouTube. Um, the fan is running today because I'm warm, and I'm hoping I don't have any audio issues. I had an audio issue in a video I just filmed a few minutes ago, so I'm hoping this one doesn't. I don't know what caused that issue. Um, I am running a system backup at the moment, so possibly there's just a resource issue. I'm not positive. But it only lasts a few seconds, so let's hope that it doesn't happen again. Yay. I recently had someone contact me in a comment uh, asking what I thought would be a good choice to buy their father for a gift when it came to a knife. Now that's a really complex issue for me. Um, it's a complex issue to buy yourself a knife, but you have some idea what you want. And if you buy a knife and it doesn't, doesn't quite fit your needs, you know why it's not quite fitting your needs. You can define it, or at least over time you can. Um, I have yet to find the perfect knife for myself. Um, it would be three inches long, flipper design, could be assisted open or use a bearing method. No thumb studs of any variety. Um, right hand tip up carry, preferably a four point system because I think that everyone should have options. Um, I like G10 scales, but I'd be, yeah, I'm going to entertain other ideas. I want it to be relatively light, I want it to be of good steel, but I also want it to be aesthetically pleasing. So all of these criteria are difficult and I have yet to find the blade that fits that definition perfectly. I'm still looking, still trying blades out, and still trying things out because I find they're attractive or interesting, or I don't have that type of blade in my collection. But when you're going to buy a knife for someone, you really have to know them well or be willing to ask them in a serendipitous manner so they don't quite know you're going to buy them a gift what kind of things they like in a knife. And those are very broad criteria. For example, do they like pocket knives? Knives that sit in their pocket, have no clip, and are, say, un under two and a half inches, under, uh, say, around two, two and a half inches long. That fits comfortably in their pocket. Okay, you know one thing. Do the laws in your nation limit what you can have for a knife? Does it have to be two-handed opening? Can it have a, the blade be locking, or can it only be a friction folder with a spring in the back that holds the blade in place? Um, is there a size limit? Um, these are all criteria you have to know before you go buying a knife for someone where you live. Does the person like a two-handed opening knife? There are people who don't like one-handed opening knives. They're not comfortable with them. Um, two-handed opening knives often have much stronger springs. They're much less prone to opening on their own. Not that, I don't think I've ever actually had a one-handed opening knife come open on me on its own, ever. Not in my pocket, not even the assisted opening ones. Which is one of the reasons I don't like those secondary locks I see in some knives. If your knife cannot do its job with the primary locking mechanism and retention system, there's a flaw in your design and you need to address that. Now, then you have to ask some other questions for yourself or for someone else. How big a knife do you want? Do you like really big knives? Do you like to carry something in the four or larger size? Can you carry something that's four inches or larger where you live? Do you like something in the three inch or under size? I like something about three inches long, between three and three and a quarter inches long. That's the preferable blade length I prefer. I want something about the width of my hand. If I can hold a knife, I just want to be able to have that knife be that long. To me, that's a good size. But you're going to be, get a different experience. Um, do you like a specific type of blade shape? Drop point, worn cliff, bowie, you know, tantos. There's lots of designs and there are modified versions of these to give you a million different subtle differences, different shapes, different styles. Which do you like? Do you like sweepy curves? Do you like utilitarian shapes? You have to ask yourself or the other person or know them well enough to get that an idea in your head before you go looking. Do you like assisted opening? Do you like not assisted opening? Do you prefer flippers or do you like knives that have thumb studs? If you like thumb studs, what kind of thumb studs do you like? There are straight cylinders, there are there are stacked like ziggurat styles, which I happen to like. There are discs, there are square discs, there are round discs. Um, there are knives with holes in them, like Spyderco uses. And there are many different shapes of holes. Do you like a purely round one? For me, I think that round is the best shape for a hole in a blade. Because you put your thumb in there and you move it and it rotates in your thumb comfortably. Other shapes are, to me, less viable. But people use them because they don't want to look like a spider cove knife and violate some copyright. 
you have to ask yourself what kind of handle material do you like? Do you want an all metal knife? Do you want a knife that has metal on one side and something else on the other? Do you like liner locks? Do you like frame locks? Do you enjoy just friction folders? Do you want a G10 handle? Do you want aluminum or titanium? Do you like really fancy knives with file work on the back or, or nickel silver bolsters and thumb studs? These are all questions you have to ask before you're choosing a knife for yourself or someone else. And obviously it's going to be more difficult if you're choosing a knife for somebody else. But if you're going to choose a knife for someone else, I think that you could do well by looking at what the most popular knives in the world are. They're popular for a reason, because a lot of people really like that knife and that style. So that would help you. So just do a search for the most popular knives. Um, you're going to get a lot of Spydercos. You're going to get... Um, they're very popular in the world. Some Kershaws, Gerbers. Um, I'm a big Kershaw fan, I have to freely admit, though I like Spydercos quality. I think a lot of their stuff is just in the price range I'm not comfortable with at this point in my life. I do own some Spyderco knives and I really like them. For example, the one I keep right here on my desk is is, is, is uh, the Kiwi, which is a reasonably priced knife. Um, Two-handed, spring loaded, so legal in most places. Warncliffe blade. But it doesn't meet my, some of my other criteria. I prefer a clip and I want it to be one-handed opening or flipper. So, though I like this knife, and if I were to carry a pocket knife, say I want to get dressed up and go somewhere and I don't want to have a knife in my pocket, I would put a knife in my pocket, and this would be the one I would take because it's very attractive. It's also not large, and it's not going to intimidate, intimidate people. You're going to take something out to cut something. They're not going to be like, ah, freaky, and you have to take that into account. Where are you carrying this knife? Are you in an office? Are you in a truck delivering furniture? Are you... Uh, you know, are you an EMT and you want a backup? Are you a cop, a fireman? Do you work in a factory like I do? Are you a barista? So you can't have anything showing. Is your boss going to freak out if he sees a blade of any variety of jobs you have? You have to make sure you take these things into account for yourself or for others when you're choosing a knife. And then you get into the really subtle things, like blade steel. What kind of blade steel do you want? Do you want D2? Do you want a stainless steel? Do you work in a marine environment and you want bronze? Um, there are all kinds of questions. The person asked me because the, the, his father was, works in a, is, spends time in a marine environment. And I suggested in that case, buy something on the low end of the price scale. Because in a marine environment, there is a possibility you're going to lose that knife. And if you've spent a huge amount of money, that's going to be a big loss. So if you buy something in the 20 to $30 range, and you use it and it functions and it works and someday it just falls into the ocean or a lake or something you, you're only out 20 or 25 bucks you know and you just go buy another one um, do they want to have a lanyard for example this has got a lanyard hole on it it's a little small for proper paracord but you could I could put a lanyard on this and I could put a lanyard on if I really wanted to long enough that I could do relatively simple cutting tasks in a marine environment is that something the person wants? They want a, a knife that's on a two-foot lanyard so they can take it out of their pocket, cut something, and put it back in and never have to worry about losing it. That's a possibility. There are people who have their wallets on chains for that reason. You know, so everyone's going to be a little different. Um, some people like to carry knives in pouches on their belts. I'm not one of those people because I have many other things on my, on my belt. But there are people who like that. Um, and so that's another option. Do they like leather pouches? Do they like Cordura pouches? Do they like snaps or Velcro? These are all questions you have to ask yourself or make decisions for others when you're choosing them in life. Do they like a, Swiss, a, a classic Swiss Army? Are they just looking for a single blade? Do they need more than one blade? Do they like a classic stockman, an old time stockman? You know? I realize that this is a complex process, and I apologize if this isn't as clearly defined as that, 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 that some people may want. But when it comes to cho choosing a knife, it's a lot like choosing music. Um, it may take you a long time to figure out what you want, but when you finally find it, you're happy with it. And it may, it's even more difficult when you're buying music for someone else. Because again, tastes are so subtle. So I hope that this has helped some people help define what they want in a blade. And if it hasn't, 
feel free to ask me either in the comment section or send me a PM. Because if I can't help, I will. But this is, this is quite a conundrum, isn't it?